Good morning guys and welcome to the channel. I am getting really excited because we are getting really close to 3,000 subscribers. I thought that this was a long ways away from happening but we got here pretty quick and I'm excited about that. I want to do something special for uh, the 3,000 subscriber milestone and I was thinking of doing a Ask Me Anything AMA where you guys could message me your questions. This is my Instagram account right here. Or you guys can leave the questions in the comments below. And the questions that get repeated the most or the questions that have the most thumbs up, I will answer uh, when we hit the 3,000 subscribers. Now, today what we're gonna be doing with the Mercedes is we're gonna be getting rid of this the cigarette lighter on the car. Mercedes, especially uh, any, well not Mercedes, but all car manufacturers, especially before the 2000s, had the genius idea, and I mean this is fucking genius here, that we're gonna install a cigarette lighter and we're gonna put the coin tray right next to it. And the number one thing that I see is people put pennies or dimes on accident they fall into that cigarette lighter and they blow the fuse in the back or they damage the cigarette lighter and needless to say it's a really really quick way of screwing up the cigarette lighter on the vehicle so I decided that I want to take advantage of this and upgrade it and I decided I found a brand that I can install in here it will give me two USB outs one fast charging for an iPad or those new super Androids that are rolling out and another one just for standard you know the iPhones the, the basic phones the standard charging like that because realistically when people get inside your car or if you have a guest or me if I get inside a car I have the USB cable but I may not have the cigarette lighter so that is gonna help out big time the second feature that I loved about this cigarette lighter is it tells me the current battery voltage of the car now those of you guys that own a Mercedes will come to realize that there is no battery gauge anywhere on the vehicle and that is a shitty situation because you really don't know when your battery is going bad till it goes bad but something that I did find out is you can access the battery information just by going into the uh, super uh, screen which is called the engineering screen that's the only way of doing it so the cigarette lighter is going to tell me the voltage of the battery and it's going to tell me uh, how the battery is doing it's in red LED which is awesome and it's gonna have the two USBs this is an ultimate win for me I'm gonna be installing it today right here in the front of the Mercedes I'm going to show you guys that right now it's that right there we're going to be taking this whole thing out and we're going to be replacing that cigarette lighter so here we go let's go ahead and get this done so the first thing we need to do to access the cigarette lighter in here is to remove this and to remove this it's pretty simple if you guys haven't already I've replaced mine once uh, after I purchased the car this is all destroyed it's easy you just lift this up right there and then it's going to expose a torx bit i believe it's a t25 like the rest of the car and then you can go ahead and just back that out for the next step what you're going to want to do is pry all of this off and to do that you're going to want to get a firm grip on the front of it and then pull up so you're going to go ahead and grab a firm grip and then start prying up from the front all the way to the back now if you guys have some pry tools it'll make your life a lot easier in removing all this but you really don't need them just keep going along keep working your way around the seams so I'm doing here is just keep going around the seams and there you go there's the entire panel this is what it looks like you can see all the clips on the sides and on the front. It's really important to get that front clip off first. 
and then put it aside. The next thing that you want to do is now we're going to remove the boot area here and then remove all of this trim in this region. Now I've noticed that some of you guys have sent me messages about replacing this little guy. So that's how you access the control for the command. This is pretty easy to replace too. The car is in neutral. We just won't be able to remove the key, which is A-OK, -okay because all we need to do is just get this boot area off and then take this off, and then we can power down the car. So start pulling on the boot from the front. What you want to do is try and get it on a corner end. There you go. There's the boot. And then to fully remove the boot, obviously if you guys never done it before, it's kind of like a trick of twisting this and unloosening the top. But you don't need to get that far involved. So the next thing that we're going to do is pull this trim piece off around the boot. And I'll show you guys how to do that right now. So the trick with removing this trim piece is you start on the back and then you're going to pull up. And then just like that, it's gonna come off. But you're gonna to need to be careful because you guys can see your wiring's all hooked up on here. You guys can just leave it like that and then just set it aside. Next step is gonna be removing the wood trim area. This is actually gonna be one of the harder steps to do. And you need to be careful, especially if you guys have this wood trim because you guys don't wanna pull on it and get it cracked up. Um, these vehicles are a little bit older now, so they are susceptible to more cracking. What you need to do is get your hands in here. I know it's kind of hard to show you, but there's like little areas like this where you're going to be able to slide your hand in and lift up. And that's what you see how that just came up like that. You're going to keep doing that and working your way around. So let's go ahead and get that part done. So now with all the trim pieces removed, you can now remove the cigarette lighter storage area. So just so you guys know, there's two T25s here that you need to undo. It's like this car is held by T25s. I swear, it's like the only thing this thing has going for it. So now this part is something interesting that you guys are going to come to realize that this piece and all of this is all connected. So it's kind of like a juggling act to get it all out. But once you get it out, you can have full access to the cigarette lighter as shown. And this is, that's your vehicle's radio harness cable running through straight down the middle of the car. And those are the, uh, this is the vehicle's radio harness. And then this over here is the wiring for the ass heaters. You got the same thing over on the other side. So now that everything is in this position, we can put the car to park and then power it down. Okay, once you guys have all of this, the next thing you're going to want to do is grab here, pull straight down, and there you go. Your center ashtray is completely detached. So now you guys can start working on the cigarette lighter. This is the cigarette lighter from the underside. As you guys can see, this is the top side. This is the side that you guys are used to seeing. And this is the underside. Let me show you some crazy unique features and some 1990s porn star technology that happened here. They have a little light bulb like this and a glass tube to take the ambient lighting from that bulb and light up the ashtray. I don't know about you guys, but mine has never ever lit up. So my guess is, is that old bulb in there is dead. And personally, I don't have any use for that bulb. If there's some of you guys that like this light up thing, you guys could wire in some brand new LEDs in here and this thing would be bright as a baboon's asshole. But I'm gonna personally opt for removing this off of here. Now, the cigarette lighter uses Mercedes proprietary plug, which the 
is one of the few car manufacturers that still does this. And what you guys can see on this side, you have the positive, this side, you got the negative, and then here you have a positive that is actually going to this little bulb over here. But what we're going to do is remove this whole unit here and we're going to replace it with the voltage USB cigarette which right now I'm a little bit concerned for because look at the size of this puppy, look at the size of that puppy, this thing is ginormous in comparison, but fingers crossed, hopefully it'll fit, we'll see. So the first thing that we're going to want to remove is this plastic piece. And to do that, it's pretty simple. Get a firm grip here at the beginning of the tail and pull it off. And then the next thing you want to do is send this to that YouTuber that likes to shoot those Prince Rupert's drops. Because Lord knows probably Mercedes made this thing out of titanium plastic. Nope. Fragile plastic. Don't send it to him. Pick this thing off. It's super pain in the ass. See right there, it's clipped on. What you're going to want to do is insert a flathead into this angle and then do that in a twisting motion and there it goes. This right here is your 1990s light up porn star element and it does open up like a little door. You just have to insert a flathead into here. Ah, there we go. Just clicked. There. So that's the actual tiny, tiny, tiny little bulb that if you guys wanted to light up, that's what you have to replace. All of that just to get this whole mechanism to light up. Well, we're never going to use that again. So unfortunately, the cigarette lighter, let me back this up a bit. Unfortunately, the cigarette lighter is all one piece. This is all one unit. This, this whole sliding mechanism that comes in here and clicks like that is all one unit. And to replace this unit, all you gotta do is come over here, tab that like that, and this all comes off. So now comes the trick of removing all of this so we can install the new one. Now we need to get the cigarette lighter out, and to do this, you're gonna grab firmly like this, and you're gonna press on this bar. There it goes. Cigarette lighter is out. I know what you guys are thinking. No, Raymond, it's not out. Well, you are correct. But now, with it out of the way, you guys have access to that little tab right there that you can press in on, and then you can drop. You can drop the light shield down, just like that. This is what I was talking about. There's the light shield, that little tab. You can't press that tab unless you guys get this whole cigarette lighter out of the way. So now that we have the entire cigarette lighter out of the way, we can put our new one in here and then start fitting it for the wiring and all the other necessary components. So in order to fit the cigarette lighter in this position, there is an extra piece of plastic on there that we need to get out of the way for the lighter to fit. We're close. We're really, really close on the fitment. It's just that little piece of plastic right there. So I'm going to go ahead and take this tool and just remove that little bit of plastic. The trick to taking these little guys out is you got to lift up the flap but you have to be careful because the plastic is very, very brittle. And with the plastic out of the way, you guys can grab this with a pair of needle nose and give a yank, and the whole system will just completely detach. Like I said, we're not retaining this feature because I don't have any light up bulbs over on this end over here. So there's this, this will never light up ever again. Unless at some point, which I'm thinking about, putting like a little LED strip in here and tapping into the positive and negative on the cigarette lighter. Now with this all out of the way, the very next thing that we're going to want to do is cut the cable here and cut the cable here because we're going to have to reuse this wire. Put 
the nice thing about this advanced charger is it tells you a negative and it tells you the positive. The positive is going to be the silver end and the negative is going to be the brown end. Go figure, matches your colors over here. With the advanced charging kit, it comes with these quick connections. It just slide on just like that and they slide off. So if you guys ever need to or ever want to change this, simple to do. Now what you need to do is pull this back just enough right about there and then get it in here and then we'll crimp it on. So when it's all done, it should look something like this. So let me go ahead and get this part done, get it all connected, and then we'll go inside the car and give it a shot. This moment of truth, with the extended piece on here, will it fit? Go ahead get it in position. And we're gonna go ahead and plug it into it all one. Check that out guys, it fit perfectly. And look at the reading on it, 12 volts. Our battery is working awesome. That is so good to have on a car that normally costs $60,000 and does not come with any battery gauge whatsoever. So this is a great add-on that you guys can add on to your car. And it has the awesome ability, like I said, you have the fast charger up here on the top. This is for your uh, new Google devices, your new iPhone or an iPad. And then the bottom one is your uh, slow charger or actually this case, they're both dual fast chargers. So they sent me a one with dual fast ones. So that's pretty cool. I love it. It's awesome. I like the red color to it. And the best part is, check this out, ready? No more pennies falling in the cigarette lighter causing all sorts of issues with my fuse box. I just got done installing the new cigarette lighter in the Mercedes and it came out freaking awesome. I mean, check this thing out. It tells you the voltage right there as the car is running. And here's the best part. No more coins falling into it and blowing up the fuses in the back of the car. That's an awesome feature. And even better is the fact that I don't have to deal with cigarette lighters anymore. Those days of the past are gone. So if this is something that really interested you guys, uh, hit the subscribe button. I would love to have you as part of the community. And if you guys really like this video, if it helped you out in any way, give me that thumbs up. Also, don't forget about the 3000 subscriber AMA. If you guys have any questions you wanna ask me, send it to my Instagram or post it into the comment section below. In the meantime, take care. This is what you do when you have OCD. Bitch. You're doing the same in your car.